I would have thought it would have been the blonde, but instead it was, you know, the desperate divorcee. Alright. Oof. Maybe I need a beer for this last one. Okay, now for the true ending. Probably should have done this one first. Yeah, he did. But at no point did he even mention any of that. It's like, oh, you helped me, you helped me with an apartment problem, so be my wife? Wow. Just wow. That was, that was not well done at all. I just wish it didn't go through all back through this. <sighs> but say levy, I guess. I wonder what if it, uh, it's a, it won't, it won't let you return without return, without doing all the mail. You have to do it all. I'll see if I have to cut this before I upload these to uh, the YouTubes. Well, I won't say the true ending. True ending for me. It's usually the way these Lifetime CW stories end up. And so behind. And so behind. Week full of turmoil. Say that again. Only the Angels had lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. I guess you can't have it all, Frank. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Yeah, that sounds logical. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Mm. Hey. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it. We can have it by default. You, you get, you just basically, yeah, you just. You just ba choose what ending you want. Wow. It has no, that apparently what you've nice, decided, actually. we've done throughout the game of has course. no bearing on it. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. Gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Dude's got a serious gambling problem. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. <laughs> actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. Would not they have picked haven't? up. Right, just let the well, answer machine take it. Just relax. I mean. Hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, P.O. is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave all that behind? It's tricky. It's the thing with having the cake and eating it, too. Is it just work-related, or are there other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? Damn! and hard on it. Oh, hold on. Robert wants you to think long and hard on Dad it. Dad wants to talk to me. <laughs> Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. Oh my God, Rebecca, this again. Burn the, house down. the lint stovepipe. You clean out the vent stovepipe, not just the filter. Dad, do you care more about the dryer than my plans for the future? I'm sorry, Meredith. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! <laughs> I 
know, right? I mean, it's just so random. Oh God, we're gonna take this again. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. What about Astoria? I went to the movies a few days ago. Astoria has a few nice restaurants. Oh, okay. I guess that does make me a cheapskate. <laughs> Good evening, you two beautiful people. <laughs> oh my God! Order? <laughs> Ladies first. Hi, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a salad, please. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. Whiskey. I think I'll have a... Coke. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. Alright, Robert. <laughs> T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't Straight up insulted him. <laughs> Be right back, folks. <laughs> Ashley, start cutting up the coleslaw and get the steaks out. Wait, coleslaw Maureen's salad? Did you wow. hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Oh, do I like whiskey? I love whiskey. Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he didn't he say why do? he's not going. He's just like, damn, I can't go. Oh, well. Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no. Drink out of the bottle? Comedy. Oh, of course not. Little Two fingers with one it. rock? Oh, well. This is a good weekend. With an ice ball? Oh, that's the way to go. If it, depending on the whiskey, if it's a cheaper whiskey, I'll cut it with soda. Sometimes I can make it too sweet. Because you're sitting here with me? Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. Uh, my I'm choice is tea equity, which is a local longer. whiskey As here a in Texas. Kitchen helper, I do like Jack, but, the but freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely, and you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Mary's into the day. I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted so good. They, Thanks, they don't Maureen. make anything else other than blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. You're welcome. No cherry, no it's apple. I mean, this is supposed to be Americana, right? Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, Gossipy. the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. I can imagine that. Didn't give you any other but option for that. Maybe I huh? shouldn't bother you with the. So it was, it was the, the, the not giving this guy a hug is why he's like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chase her down so she didn't get on a plane. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith. Get Sorry out. to break up oh. your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Got to set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. Peeping eyes? No You're problem. setting up, what, two speakers and two mics? So I can leave you get out of here. To your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling? Thanks, Robert. Don't <laughs> mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. I might actually extend my stay here. Are you serious? That would be nice. Well, this guy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Wagon West. Good night, Meredith. You too, Robert. We're not leaving without a hug. That rain is ridiculously loud. <laughs> this is incredibly silly. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't bypass this. Like like you can the credits, pressing B. I can pause it, but that's about it. I mean, it'd be nice if this changed depending on what your answers were, were prior to this. That's why I'm saying it. It, it. it doesn't seem to have any bearing. You can just suddenly flip the squid upside down. I noticed the, uh, oh, the Moe's Diner thing hadn't started yet, so. Fine, leave. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, like this should be different I'm jokes. I my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks a bartender. What's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, Ah, you're doing I guess they're... Well, I wonder if I didn't drive on the wrong side of the road. You know, like, I was just driving willy-nilly. The <laughs> if they uh, wouldn't have the joke up. were, However, you know, making fun miss, of the driving. You have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, <laughs> want to give it a But go? I have a feeling it would be the nah, same regardless because, man. you know, Those stakes her, der, woman behind wheel, her, 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 her. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. Meredith Weiss. A woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Mm, 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 mm. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. Oh, that's new. It's actually time for a little break right now. At least so I don't remember it, but okay. For some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. These Thank people you are for bored. Asking. So, now the Jack did the Jack look in the background. The Damn. Looking fine as always. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. That's too bad. Mm. You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced, and he's staying the whole Well, this whole didn't change weekend. regardless. Oof, that's quite the imposition. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyway, uh, take care. Wow, just completely glossed now, over where it. Did he park the car? <laughs> yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? I must admit, it, it's at least a little funny. What happened? Hey, oh, I, I just oh, now noticed it's Frank in the way in the background too. Afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair and. Now I'm here looking like a loser. That's what you get for being a dick. Ah, oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again. Your soon. dream is to beat I a hope game. So. I can't even use my computer right well, now. I'm not even gonna finish that statement because I don't have a right to. Guess who? Jack Burton. Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Well, duh. You're a little late. <laughs> so. Wow. Just right to this. Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? <laughs> to be honest, I expected to hear more from you than just a note. I know, and I'm sorry. It's just, well, shutting down the store was a big... Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything this is on so the This so random. She's got a new radio. I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The raccoon is ready to go. <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, 
I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm gonna use to motor right out of this sad little town. Really? Good for you. Absolutely. <laughs> Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. Uh, see, I did that one the first. I did that. Hmm. I have grown quite fond of you, you know. Likewise, Miss Weiss. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. It's you no. get that, right? Sorry. No. Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Uh. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people. Wow. None First one was Angie Waite, then it's like, fine, Kate leave. Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. I thought when they were talking about music, it would have music. It's funny that it would have, uh, you know, it was just going to be the, the radio, not music for the entire game. But I'm okay with this. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Mm. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Didn't expect you here. Yeah, well, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. So his won't will never Bert, change. Thank okay. you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And mm -hmm. I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's Place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Kay's Place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. 
course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and... Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course! And remember... Time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Teleport. Thanks. For everything. <laughs> My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. We're all still standing there so melancholy, staring at the wall. <laughs> I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So yeah, yeah, they're, they're practically fun. catatonic. Jack was great. It was amazing. It was okay. It was okay. You sound a bit pensive, darling. I had a great evening. Thanks, Maureen. I think I'm gonna go hit the hay. Early start. Something on your mind, hon? Mm. No, I'm fine, honestly. Big day tomorrow, is all. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. <laughs> wow, the only one I didn't choose was this one. I think we're different people now, but I'll try to stay in touch every now and then. <laughs> Listen, you're her, two her, grown her, women. Her and response is the same the regardless. You two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're going to do yet? Stick around? Move back? I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hon. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. And go right into take talking care, to Maureen. Frank now. Dear Meredith Weiss. Thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Get another shot at my photography. Your picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. Mm. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good Let's morning, go right Meredith. I don't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the White Sox, just like you said, and lost. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride. And then they won. They're playing again tonight. And now, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. And betting against the pattern pays off. White Sox. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll oh, wait, crap, already two is that one. Speaking oh, of well. gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. Stop gambling. I went on the action affair. Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you getting a predicament and you're on your own? I want in on the action. A fair share of your bookie profits. <laughs> profits? <laughs> Meredith, it's nothing. Just a friendly service to the people here. Don't bluff a bluffer, Frank. Okay, okay, Meredith. How about 20%? <laughs> How about 50%? 50%? Meredith, setting up this operation cost me years of hard work. The best I can do is 30%, or else I'll just do it all by myself. 
deal. Kaching! Welcome on board. <laughs> now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Blackmail the bookie, I love it. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The raccoon in all of her glory. Oh, that's interesting. Like her, Meredith and I. Well, now you have to make a choice again. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I you know her to dad was totally in on it. But now that she doesn't need any more work, Angie can at least drive her around. Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. us. I'm counting on it. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> hmm? Would seriously definitely like to go with you. But this is making it seem like you're going to leave with her. I think you should go alone. Oh yeah? Well, I disagree. I don't want to be alone. And I think you should go with me. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry, Angie. It just doesn't feel right. Well, that took a turn. I mean, that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Even though it's not quite what I was expecting. Or hoping. Wow. Wow. We'll keep in touch. We'll meet again. It's just that this is what I need to do right now. I get it. It's okay. Oh. So, do I at least get a goodbye hug? Of course. I want to make this harder. Come Damn. <laughs> Man, just sure I'm gonna miss it. her right in the kitties at the last Happy one. Travels. That was awkward. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning. Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeves. I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no, actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Ah, uh, <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y oh, yeah, yeah, Robert. I'll pull over. Hey, he Mary, just sorry about that. He I couldn't just go to the post you. office. This better be good, Robert. <laughs> hey, Robert. What's going on? Well, this is gonna sound super awkward, and hopeless, and desperate, and super desperate. Probably a lot more things, but. I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, you're a woman, <laughs> I like you. A lot. Wow. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. I have to deliver the mail. <laughs> oh man, Rose, just get in your car. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Uh, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, screw the mail, huh? I can't do that, Robert, but okay.
Let's see here. Oh, what would be? I'm gonna close my eyes here. I can't oh. do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith. I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. Have a great day. Thanks, Robert. This was poorly executed. It'd be a bit better that he met her at the at the post office rather than you know busting a move on the side of the road. Well, well, that's all the all the all the um, achievements. Uh, it was I mean, it was slow. It was all right. It was a sweet little little game, and and rapidly just kind of bottomed out into. A lifetime movie there at the end. I mean, that made no sense to me. It was that was the thing with Robert was pretty bad. But uh, anyways, that's Lake. I got Game Pass. It definitely needs a little bit more polish. But I, I want. I, I wonder if the development team is um, small. Yeah. Oh. Well, what? That uh, that is the end of Lake. I'm gonna. We'll get myself some breakfast and uh, check out what else I want to play. I may not be on tonight because I need to. Uh, I'm going to do some work, prepare for some uh, events for tomorrow.